March is the month for all things green, and Patty Landers Caperton and Joanne Brezawar join me with news on the Irving Heritage Society's green event. Well, ladies, uh, Patty, I see that you came prepared in green. Well, yes. And we're talking about a green event. What is the Heritage Society doing? Well, now this is not recycling, Kathy. Uh, okay. um, this is <laughs> <laughs> this is the Irving Heritage Society's. Um, uh, general meeting. We have about three of those a year. We invite the public and our entire membership uh, to come for a special program that we have planned. That's wonderful. And that program is called Sporting the Green. So are folks invited to wear green, Joanne? What's well, going sure, on here? Well, sure, because the date is St. Patrick's Day, and that's kind Perfect. of how that came together. It was uh, we, we were looking for a date, and when this date came up, it was a natural to you just say, sport the green. I like it very much. And what's the focus going to be for this particular meeting? Well, the focus is about other local cities and what they're doing about their heritage, how they're showing off their past. And we've traveled around to the different museums in the Dallas area, and, and we've come up with three outstanding programs from three fantastic cities. That's great. So who, who can we expect to hear from? Well, let me, the names. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Just, thank you. Just thank a little you. bit of recycling well, right there. <laughs> so it's going to be a panel discussion moderated by Thomas Close. Now, Thomas works for the Perot Museum. Uh, he's a manager of um, the experience at the Perot Museum. Great. Fantastic young man, and he's going to moderate, as I said. And the three people that are going to be on our panel. One is Robert Haynes. Now Robert is the voice that you hear at the Jackie Townsell Heritage House. That's great. And he has been very involved with Irving and with putting together some of our heritage. But he comes to us, he's the curator of the Interurbal Railway Museum in Plano. Oh, okay. It's a fantastic thing to show how the rail, the interurban rail worked back in its day in Plano. And that's a nice tie-in for Irving as well because of our history and our heritage as oh, a railroad yes. town. That's oh, yes. Great. And he's a fantastic find to come. Um, and Toila Pointer is the curator of the A.W. Perry Homestead Museum in Carrollton. We toured that, and that's a little comparable to our heritage house, okay. the old things of its time. It's a beautiful, beautiful setting. Um, and then we have Joanne Strandley, and she's the president of the Grapevine Historical Society. And Grapevine has put together many of the antiquities from their day in a very nicely housed building that resembles an ice shed or an ice house. Oh, okay. And it's That's quite great. well done. Um, and they'll explain all this to you, and then they'll be open to us as people attending and uh, Thomas will move them along and we will learn more and more about those cities and what would be wonderful in Irving and why we celebrate the Irving Heritage Society. That's great. So it's a wonderful way for people to, to come and see not just what Irving's doing, but what other cities are doing and where the potential is and mm -hmm. some partnerships. So Patty, give us the details. When's this happening? Well, this will be on Tuesday, March 17th, and it'll begin at 7 p.m. So we welcome everyone. And, you know, Joanne was telling us about the panel. And what we're excited about is, is um, we've got some young people involved, younger folks involved on this panel that I yes. think, uh, uh, I think will, you'll find very interesting. Yeah, I think that's neat because uh, it's, it's, it's everybody's history. Right. It, doesn't, it, is. it doesn't start being your history once, you, once, once you've got a little free time to look at it. It's everybody's there history. Well, thank you guys so much for being yeah. here. We're excited Thanks, about Kathy. that and look forward to spending St. Patrick's Day sporting the green. Well, I don't know if that was good or not, but. <laughs> <laughs>